Good morning, folks. I've had a bit of fun watching some baby sunspots play flare around on the north. They're so cute at this age, especially at the earth-facing quiet nursery school. We have plasma filaments all over the place. The one departing on the south is releasing this morning, I believe, while those on the north departing and incoming appear more stable. Incoming rope has a longitudinal presentation, which is always fun. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find 193 angstroms showing the incoming coronal hole down south. But remember, we're expecting impact from the solar wind of the one that just left. This morning, we see orange density rising, twisting the phi angle in blue and pushing the magnitude of the BZ up top in red, meaning the energy is coming on. With these coronal holes, this shock wave is bunched up in front of the speedier particles, which will come fast and hot as soon as the density drops out today. Eyes open for geomagnetic storm activity. It already triggered an Uyen storm formation at the new Earth spot to match the energetic quake we had four days ago, just south of the Sumatra shake. The solar flaring remains low. I figured I'd show you folks some pictures of sunspots in case you forgot what they look like amidst this festival of tiny ones we've had the last few months. These spots are small and incapable of much. Central and North American west coastlines have been under a minor watch as their earthquake season returns. The magnitude 5 rumbles have returned as well, along with one above average up off of Canada. Top weather alert here falls on the west coast today. Major rainfall has already begun, and while it's not an arc storm level event, it's going to be more than some people hope for. The Aleutian Low is large and descended and driving Pacific moisture onto California there, Flooding and landslide risks are at their highest levels in the affected areas. For those who haven't seen our Magnetic Earth presentations, you can get caught up at magneticreversal.org. The long-term changes in our planet's magnetism were a topic of fly on the wall yesterday, including how the Sumatra quake brings things into clearer focus. We also uploaded Deeper Look 19 yesterday, where a few more mainstream scientists commit mutiny against the standard model. Pressure and radar with a full set of current global conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.